Number five from paper one, the first paper, the non-calculator paper of the 2014 National Five. It looks like you've got one of the extended trigonometry, the scaling triangle trigonometry questions, which you don't expect until paper two when you've got a calculator. So what does it say here? You've got this triangle, which looks like it's a right angle, but you can't assume it's a right angle ever unless it definitely tells you. So I've tried to make it look a little different from that. But it doesn't tell you the angles. It tells you the signs of the angles. So it mentions this one. It says the sign of that angle is 0 0.4. But of course, without a calculator, you don't actually know what the angle is. And it mentions this angle. And it says the sign of that angle is 0 0.9. That's why it can be handy to put the information down just now. And it says, what's the length of LM? That's this side here for three marks. Well, just looking at what we've got, what's been mentioned here, that angle and that length are opposite each other. That's an opposite pair. The side you want and the another angle that's mentioned are opposite each other. When you've got opposite pairs like that, partner pairs of a length and its controlling angle, it's the sine rule. So the first part of this would be state the sine rule using that information. And that's where that hopefully should become clear. Because I don't really care what k is, because in the sine rule, it's the sine of k that I want. Now you could start off by stating the sine rule. Now you could say, oh, I've got a over sine a, b over sine b, which is c over sine c, if you like but you'd get no marks for that. You won't get any marks until you start putting these figures into it. Quite often I put that down first and just put inverted commas because in fact, there's no A's and B's and C's here. And I don't want to change it into, but you can if you like, change it into small L's, small K's and small M's. The pattern's quite clear. The length of the side over the sine of its subtending angle, the angle that controls it, is the same for all pairs in a triangle. That's the sine rule. So better than that, well, I would say anyway, better than that would just to be jumped straight in with it. What do I want to work out? It's the line LM. What's the angle that produces LM? It's K, but it's the sine rule, so it's the sine of K. What's the ones that I know? Because you have unknowns on the left, knowns on the right. What do I know? The side 18, because it's the side over its subtending angle. And that's produced by this angle L. But it's not L that I want, it's the sine of L. So those numbers are actually perfect. That's what I want. I don't want the angles because I was going to find the sine of them anyway. So now I could put the figures in. LM over 0 0.4 is 18 over, and sine of L is, didn't put that in, 0 0.9. So LM is going to be 18 over 0 0.9 times 0 0.4. Now notice you haven't got a calculator to do that. Ooh, and there's wee decimal points. But there's a fraction here. You can do what you like to the top and the bottom. So if you multiply the top by 10 and the bottom by 10, that 4, 0.4, will turn into a 4, and that 9, 0.9, will turn into a 9. And now it just says 18 times 4 divided by 9, or better than that, 9 into 18 goes 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. And those lengths were in centimetres. So the three marks were, you'd have thought the first mark would have been here. And then one mark here and then one in the answer. But it wasn't. The first mark was for substituting the values into the sine rule. I think you'd still have to write this first. I wouldn't have bothered with that, really. And then for this, what they're saying is knowing how to solve. Which simply means taking the point four across and multiplying. And then one for doing the calculation. So it's just these three lines here.